transit has become a major part of the city of Calgary. With the expansion of the city comes the expansion of transit. Some say that the transit system used to be great, but it doesn't reach the standards and meet the needs of the amount of people using it today. There's been a number of occasions where I haven't been able to get on a train during rush hour because um, it's completely full and everybody takes the train home coming from downtown. Um, and buses too, there's been a lot of times where I've had to wait for the next bus because it's full in the morning or the afternoon. While some riders feel the need for improvement, others think the system doesn't need any. Calgary transit system is the best in Canada I've ever seen. I've been all over Canada and there's like a train or a bus every 10 minutes. There are many things that go into the planning and development of the transit system. With the recent closure of Chinook Station, people are feeling like the system didn't spend enough time planning and realizing the effect it would have on riders. As a uh, season ticket holder for the Flames, the last game I went to, we were told to get off at Heritage Station, then put on a, a bus, which made several stops before arriving at another station, before putting us back on the train to get to the Saddle Dome, causing us to be about 45 minutes late. What about students? Though the train seems to have flaws, using the transit's buses is more difficult than trains. I don't trust buses. They, like, sometimes they show up like 20 or 30 minutes late. Like when it snows a couple of inches, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's when I don't trust buses when I go with trains. For those who don't take the buses, there is always the option of driving to a park and ride. But there are many flaws in that as well. Uh, I've gone to a couple stations in the morning. Um, I have classes between 9.30 and 10, and you cannot find a spot unless you want to pay for one of the uh, yearly spots or whatever. You can never find one, wherever I go at least. Park and Ride was supposed to be built as a useful way to keep vehicles off the road, allowing transit riders to drive to a station before getting on a train. But with the expansion of Calgary comes a high demand for spots and a low supply of stalls. I think we have to look at how we do our park and rides. Park and rides are absolutely necessary because not all public transit goes to all areas of the city. So you have to get to the public transit. So first of all, we have to change the style. We should be having more parkades, um, three and four story parkades, rather than spreading out them in very large uh, blocks. Um, do we need more parking lots? Do we need more park and rides? I think so, without question. The city tries to encourage people to use the system more often. U-passes and other discounts are offered to certain people, but some believe those prices and daily prices are just way too high. I get the, um, the U-pass through SAIT, and so it, I save a lot of money that way, but if I had to buy a ticket every single day, I'd probably feel like it's a bit overpriced. It's about like three-something for an adult ticket now. So, With thousands of people using the system daily, you also have the issue of safety. Honestly, I feel that it could be a little bit better, especially with the newer trains and that. Uh, the new trains do have the security outside and inside. However, the old ones, they don't have it. And they're really, apparently from what I gather, they're working on it. Over one million people live in Calgary. Reliability is a major factor when appealing to the needs of that many people. Some of the major complaints come with the issue of not having a 24-hour transit system. I guess they should keep running it over all night, especially on weekends, because a lot of people get off bar, like get out of bars at least like two o'clock, and the trains don't run, so we end up having to walk, or I don't know, take a taxi. The expansion of outer areas have developed significantly in the last couple of years due to an increase in population, specifically the southeast region. There has been an obvious negligence from the system. There's no southeast line and we have over 30% of the population living in the southeast quadrant with no mass transit. Many things pose the question of how do we make it more reliable. Money coming in every day, every month, every year is not being used properly because we should be having a transit system to every quadrant of the city that should connect downtown and we don't have that. People still use the system, though many are fed up. Most people don't have the option of driving and have to take the system daily. But it's still a significant part of Calgary. Transit prevents just a parking lot in Calgary. I think Calgary would be a complete parking lot if there wasn't transit. So 
that's definitely beneficial. It keeps people moving, and I think people in lower-income homes who take transit, it's really beneficial for them. Calgary needs a more organized and developed system. But once we can catch up to the growth and expansion, then the end goal will please many people and hopefully create a more efficient ride. I've always said, um, let's not talk about building bigger and better roads. Let's make public transit more comfortable, more accessible, and faster for those. And, and the, the sooner you do that, the more cars you get off. And, and I look at uh, the southeast and Ward 12 specifically, we will soon have 30 to 40,000 desk jobs in our area. If one third of those, 30 percent or so, um, live in the area where those, uh, those jobs are, I mean, we're talking about 10 to 15,000 cars a day off the roads. If we continually do that, rather than having, as it is now, a concentrated employment center in the core or in one area of the city, what we have to do is distribute the, the employment centers and making that ease for the rest that have to drive much better by getting those cars off the road. Calgary Transit has come a long way over the last couple decades. We have a system that can get people from where they want to go to where they need to be. Though it can be difficult, the transit system is here to stay, here to improve, and hopefully here to create a reliable ride.